Welcome! This help video will show you the features of the GovReview independent review process. You will learn how to navigate through the independent review page and how to submit your final review. To open an independent review, from the Review List page, click on the Edit icon for the proposal you want to work on. Then you will land on the Independent Review dashboard page. From here, you can see an overview of the review, including the topics, opportunity, program, program manager, and start and end dates. You can also see the proposal name, independent review, IR workflow, and IR status. The middle of the page contains the review criteria, including the factors and descriptions, score and rating, and weight. This is a helpful resource as you work through the review to easily reference the criteria. To work on the review, click on the review icon on the right side of the page. The independent review page contains all the information you need to complete your review. First, let's start with the navigation features. The top of the page lists the proposal title and organization. You can easily return to the independent review dashboard page by clicking the return to IR dashboard page button. At any point while working on the review, if you determine you have a conflict of interest, you can indicate this by clicking on the exclamation mark. As you are working on the review, click the Save Change button so you do not lose any of your work. Once you've completed the independent review, click the Submit button. The Full Proposal button allows you to download a PDF version of the review. Or you can select specific sections to download by clicking on the three dots. When you are ready, complete the independent review sections. You can scroll down the page to work through each section or use the left menu to jump to a specific section. The Proposal Summary section is where you provide a summary write-up of the proposal. Review the instructions for the Relevance, Intrinsic Merit, and Cost Reasonableness sections and provide your score and the strengths and weaknesses for each. And any notes that you add in the comment section are shared with the review details so the organization can view these. The internal comment section allows you to add comments that are not shared with the organization. And don't forget to click Submit at the top of the page once you've completed the review. And that's the independent review. For additional help materials, check out the Learning and Support widget on the landing page.